Hi friends, welcome to the Power DSP lessons. In today's lesson, we are going to see the possible way to represent the frequency axis. That is, horizontal axis of the frequency domain. We can represent the frequency axis in four different ways, all of which are common in DSP. In the first method, the frequency axis is labeled with the sample numbers. As we know, n input samples will produce n output samples in which the useful information is present from 0 to n by 2. This method we usually use in computer programs through which we can implement DFT by using FFT algorithm. This method is very useful in program because it is how we write code to access array locations by using an index. The second method is based on the sampling frequency that we are using in a particular application. Let us take the same example that we have used in the previous episodes. We have used the sampling frequency of 8 kilohertz. The frequency axis run from 0 to 4 kilohertz, which is the Nyquist frequency fs by 2. We can find the analog frequency of the particular index by the equation n fs by n. Small n is the index number and capital N is the number of points. This method has the advantage of representing the frequency data details in terms of real world meaning. But the downside is that different applications have different sampling rates and so different representation of the frequency axis. Hence we are not using this method generally in DSP applications. In the third method, the frequency axis is labeled as a fraction of the sampling rate. Whatever may be the sampling rate, the useful information is present always between 0 to fs by 2. So the horizontal frequency domain axis run from 0 to 0.5. Most of the literatures and books use this method of representing the frequency axis to emphasize the fact that discrete signals only contain frequencies between 0 and 0.5 of the sampling rate. The last method is very similar to the third one. This method is based on the natural frequency omega and its unit is radians. The idea here is that there are 2 pi radians in a circle and the samples from 0 to n minus 1 are related to equally spaced values between 0 and 2 pi. Since we are only interested from 0 to n by 2 and we denote that region from 0 to pi, we can see one of these methods are used in DSP and we need to know to convert one from other. Okay guys, I am P. Madan Mogan for the Power DSP lessons. Please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Meet you soon. Until then, bye bye.